Welcome to Global Tutors YouTube channel. In this video, we'll be looking at binomial expansion part 2. Now, the questions we have here said find the coefficient of y to 4 in the expansion of this. Now, for each question I solve, you have your own exercise to solve. Now, the second question said find the term independent of x in the expansion of this. Now, I will solve this. Now, you will solve this one. Now, let us start with solution 1 solution 1 now the question said find the coefficient of y raised to power 4 in the expansion of this so we have to find the term that has a coefficient of 4 when we expand this so the question remains which term has this coefficient which term has this coefficient now i don't know the term that has this coefficient so what i'm going to do is this since i don't know the term i will then start with the normal process of solving. I will then start with the normal process of solving. When you see this type of question, when you're asked to find a given term that has a given coefficient, or you're asked to find a, a, a given coefficient that has something, there is no need expanding it, because expanding it might be bulky. Like this now, if I want to expand it from the beginning to the end, I will start with 10 combination 0, 10 combination 1, 10 combination 2, up to 10 combination 10. So it is bulky. Now here, they just want me to get the coefficient of y raised to power 4. Now the question remains, how do we get it? So I will say, okay, since I can easily predict the term that has that coefficient, so I will start by writing, okay, let's say, 10 combination R. Let that term that will give me a coefficient that has to do with y raised to power 4, let it be at point R. Let it be at point R. I don't know what R is. So I'm going to determine R with this. I'm going to determine the value of R with this. So I will copy everything normally. I will say x raised to power 2. We know that for finding each term, after taking the first value, we now take this minus this. So 10 minus R give us 10 minus r so here we have this is plus so 2y over x raised to power r so i will equate this to y raised to power 4 so I'll equate it to y raised to power 4 so i will simplify what i have i will simplify 10 combination r still remains so here i have x raised to power 2 times 10 is 20 minus 2 times r is 2r now here we have 2 raised to power r that is times 2 raised to power r times y raised to power r all over x raised to power r so we solve for that so we have 10 combination r this is x raised to power r and this is also x raised to power 20 minus 2 r so according to the laws of indices this will change to x raised to power 20 minus 2 r minus r because this r is going up dot 2 raised to power r dot y raised to power r is equal to y raised to power 4. Now, we are going to play just sticks here. Now, since I am, what I'm looking for has to do with y, it doesn't have to do with x or a number, so I will just pick this that is in terms of y and this that is in terms of y. I will equate the both. So, from here now, from here, I will not say that y raised to power r is equal to y raised to power 4. So, I just pick only this and this i just pick this and this i neglected this i just picked only this and this because what i'm looking for is in terms of uh, y not x so here now y can cancel y remember the laws of indices so it implies that our r is equal to what four so what this thing is telling me is that if i expand this at point four when arrow is four if i expand this when R is 4, definitely I will get a term that has a coefficient of y raised to power 4. So let's see how it goes. So I will copy this thing out. x raised to power 2 plus 2y over x raised to power 10. So I will start with 10 combination what 4. Since from all indication, I found out that when R is 4, I will get a term that has a coefficient of y raised to power 4. So, I will pick the other coefficient, which will be the answer to this given question. So, I will have 10 combination 4. 10 combination 4. Now, I will pick the first value. x squared raised to power 10 minus 4 will give me 6 dot 2y over x raised to power 4. Now, 10 combination 4 will give me 
210. Now this is x raised to the power 2 times 6 is 12. Dot 2 raised to the power 4 will give me 16. Y raised to the power 4 will give us y raised to the power 4 over x raised to the power 4 will give us x to the fourth power. We simplify. So 210, 210 times 16. So we have 210 times 16. So here we have, remember the laws of ND6, we have x raised to the power 12 minus 4 will go up, then y raised to the power 4. So with our calculator, we can obtain 210 times 16, which will give us 3360 3, x raised to the power 12 minus 4 will give us 8 and y raised to the power 4. Now remember, they say we should find the coefficient find the coefficient of y raised to the power 4 in this expansion so the coefficient of y raised to the power 4 in this expansion the coefficient equals 3360x raised to the power 8 so this is the answer now let's solve the second question let's solve the second question the second question said find the term independent of x independent of x in the expansion of 2x minus 3 over x squared, everything raised to the sixth power. Now, it is still the same thing with x. It is still the same thing with x. But the only difference is that we are finding the term that is independent of x here. Y in x, we are finding the coefficient of y raised to power 4. It is a term that has a given value with this given coefficient. So, these two questions, they are the same thing. Now, solution 2. Now, we want to find the term. Want to find the term that is independent of x in the expansion of x. So, want to find the term that is independent of x, independent of x in the expansion of three, two x minus three over x to the second power, everything raised to the sixth power. Now, I will start. I will ask myself: At what point will I get a term that is independent of x in this given expansion? So, I will say let that point be point R. So, I will start with six combination R. Now I will pick 2x, 6 minus r dot minus 3 over x squared raised to the power r. I will simplify it further. So I have 6 combination r. So here we have 2 raised to the power 6 minus r, x raised to the power 6 minus r. So I will have minus 3 raised to the power r over x raised to the power 2 times r will give us 2r. So, we simplify this further, we simplify this further. So, we're going to have 6 combination r, 2 raised to the power 6 minus r, then the laws of ND6 will be applied here. So, we have x raised to the power 6 minus r minus 2r minus 3, raised to power r. So what we have here is a 6 combination r, 2 raised to power 6 minus r, x raised to power 6 minus r minus 2r bracket minus 3 raised to power r. Now since we are finding the term, since we are to find the term that is independent of x in this expansion, so the term that will be independent of x in this expansion, so we are going to say that this 6 Combination R, 2 raised to the power 6 minus R. Now here we have X raised to the power 6 minus R minus 2R will give us minus 3R. Bracket minus 3 raised to the power R. So we equate this to X raised to the power 0. The reason why I'm equating to X raised to the power 0 is because I know that anything raised to the power 0 will definitely give me 1. So any term that is independent of X simply means that there is no X in it. So I'm just going to replace the value of x with x raised to power 0 because I definitely know that x raised to power 0 is definitely 1. 1 times anything is anything. Remember this, this one is what has a coefficient that has to do with y raised to power 4. But in this, it is independent of uh, x. That's the reason why I'm equating this to x raised to power 0. So what I'm going to do now is this. I'm going to find the value of r. Remember, the reason why I'm doing all this is to find the value of r. Remember that r is the point where a given term has no value of uh, x so i'm going to do just this here like what we did for this i just compared between y because i'm looking for the value of r in terms of uh, with respect to y so here 
this has to do with x and this also has to do with x so i'm going to pick only six x raised over six minus three r and this is equal to x raised over zero so this cancel this i have that six minus three r is equal to zero so here we find r so we have that six is equals to three r when this goes to the other side so r is equals to six over three and six over three will give us what two so at point two we get a term that has no x that is the term that is independent of the x so let us finalize our work so we have 2x minus 3 over x squared raised to power 6 so we're going to be taking it at point r equals 2 so we start with this combination 2 bracket 2x raised to power 6 minus 2 give us 4 dot bracket minus 3 over x squared raised to 2 now with our calculator, 6 combination 2 will give us 15 bracket. We have 2 raised to the power 4, x raised to the power 4 dot minus 3 raised to the power 2 over x raised to the power 2 times 2 give us 4. So here we have 15 bracket. 2 raised to the power 4 will give us 16, x raised to the power 4 dot minus 3 raised to the power 2 will give us 9 over x raised to the power 4. So here we apply the laws of air in the six so we have that 15 bracket 16 bracket 9 15 bracket 16 bracket 9 then we have x raised to power 4 this 4 will go up we have minus 4 so you have 15 times 16 times 9 will give us 2 1 6 0 so we have here x 4 minus 4 will give us 0. So we have 2, 1, 6, 0. Anything raised to the power 0 will give us 1. So 2, 1, 6, 0 times 1 will give us 2, 1, 6, 0. So here we have obtained the value that has no coefficient of uh, x. So this is the value that is independent of uh, x. Remember what the question said? Find the term independent of x in the expansion. So I decided to find the value. So the term that is independent of x here the term that is independent of x that is the term when arrow the term when arrow equals 2 is the term is since arrow is equals to 2 add 1 to r add 1 to this 2 so n because the term 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 n is equals to arrow plus 1 so the term will be equal to 2 plus 1, which will give us what? 3. So the third term, the third term, has no coefficient of x. I decided to solve this thing. Remember, in this question, we are not asked to solve all this. We are not asked to solve all this. We are just asked to find the term but the reason why i solve this is in case of a necessity whereby you're asked to find the coefficient of the expansion that has no value of x or that is independent of a x but here they just ask us to find the term that is independent of x so what i'm going to do is that immediately you find your r anything you get as your r just add one to it like here our r is equals to two so two plus one will definitely give us three so you cannot conclude that the third term is the term that is independent of x in the expansion remember remember if you can recall had it been that you want to expand this now we we'll start with a uh, cis combination zero plus and we, we solve for x2 x raised to power 6 minus 0 we have then the next one will be 6 combination 1 the, next, the other one will be 6 combination 2 now remember that since our r is 2 since our r here is 2 if i should count it remember that definitely i will start with 0 so i will start with 0 i will start with 1 then i will get to 2 3 4 5 up to 6 so you can see that when r is 2 it is the total term count term 1 term 2 and the term 3 so you can take your time Go through this video, like, share, comment. If you have any question, you can go to the comment box and type down your question. I still remain Angel of Maths. I love you all. Please, I still repeat, if you have not watched part one of this giving video, please, you can go and search for it. Make sure you watch 
take your time to understand you can watch this video over over and over and over and over again i love you so much take care of yourself and do not forget to subscribe thank you very much for watching